Hi, Bella. You're the baby. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to, to welcome you to the workroom today. We have some painting. We have a mysterious board here. We have the workstation. Right now it's open up to the GRIS information area for the Global Renoscope. We'll get to that in a little bit. You can see there that showing the all sky cam from uh, Officer Australia. It's cloudy out. Earlier tonight it wasn't like that. We'll talk about that later. This is work area. We have some writings, some notes here, telephones. Uh, we have we would have a bed in here, but I need it for something other than sleeping. And okay, there we are. I am going to get right to it. We're going to talk about some stuff uh, about the comets, about uh, what I'm doing, what I'm seeing, and maybe it will help. I want to set this up. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the paper. Now, come on, so we shut the door. I'm going to kick Bella out. Okay. I want to go over quickly. view. I don't see anything. Seeing anything? I'm up too high. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and we're just going to work lower then. Okay. The comet, when, if you want to uh, look at it in the night sky with a telescope, I'll give you a general direction of where it is. Um, let's say this is the horizon, and this is west, okay? Now, the time of night is sunset, okay? The sun is down all the way. It's not halfway up. It's all the way down, but it's, it's radiating little light at the horizon. Uh, the time in Mayhill, New Mexico is about... 9, 10 p.m. Due west, or up straight, is Leo, the constellation Leo. Let's try to put it like this. Okay. However it goes, it's got some feet like that. Okay, Leo. Alanin is somewhere in this general area that moves. It's moving. It's actually going this way. Toward the sun. This is the part of the sky that we uh, point the telescope at at around 9, 10 p.m. At about 10 p.m. at night in New Mexico, this box is down here. And the sun is down here. So it's following it down. And downward to the horizon here. Okay, so what's important to know about this here is a telescope. I'm going to make a crude drawing of a telescope. Okay, and the telescope resides in an observatory, and it has a window it looks out. Okay, and the horizon is down here. If you look, there's a wall here, and this telescope cannot physically point 
down to the horizon because of the obstruction in the observatory. There are uh, 14 telescopes for GRASS, the Global Rentoscope Network. For this to happen, I've only, well, I've only been able to really get it to go, the telescope that goes down, I know for sure, is the GRASS 004. Because of how low Elenin, here's the box again where Elenin is going this way toward the sun, uh, only a couple of telescopes will go that low. The observatories for Gras are in Australia, Spain, and America. This is an officer Australia, Nerpio, Spain, and May Hill, New Mexico. Okay. There it is. There's the equator. Okay, now this is not going to be good, so we're just going to make a general. Okay, Australia is over here. North America, South America. Okay, Spain. I want to put an X right there. There's Spain. Here is Mayhill, New Mexico. Here is Officer Australia. Comet Elenin. Okay, we're going to put the sun here. Sun. Earth. Here's the equator of the sun. Here is the equator of the earth. The Earth is traveling this way. Elenin is out over here. And it's coming up this way. In front of Earth, and halfway in between, and then up. Okay? And it's come around. Down, up, across, up, in front, in between the sun and the earth. Uh, Nerpio, Spain is higher. So here's a latitude line. Here's another latitude line. For the northern hemisphere, Spain is higher than New Mexico. Spain has the infrared telescope. Spain cannot see Elenin down here, and so the infrared telescope I have available is not available to see down to Elenin. Uh, Mayhill, New Mexico is right here. Elenin is right here. For those 30 minutes at sunset, this can see down here. And so that's where we've been getting our images. That's been coming around. Now, out over here again, behind or above Elenin, here's your Leo. Leo's, Leo's out over here. You'll have a paw. Okay? And then the whole sky is turning like this. Elenin's coming up like that. So... The reason why we can't use Nerpio Spain for IR is because the latitude is too high to catch the item down here at any time. By the time it gets sunset in Nerpio, Elenin is already below the horizon. So, yeah. Concerning the coordinates of an alternate object. Okay, I'm not writing that high enough. Planet X. And or Nibiru and or star object. We know we have an object, Elenin. Elenin was over here. Elenin. I've seen it. Elenin. 
I've seen it with my own eyes. So this is visual. This is on, on visual. I have that. I have not seen any one of these three objects. Planet X, Nibiru, or the star. Why does Elenin look the way it does? I'll tell you, I do not know the exact answer. In my heart, I have a feeling if there's any news, we may learn more about comets and the possibility of comets being made up of different materials other than ice and dust. But my visual of Elenin is so small that I do not see that object, even if it was made up of something odd, causing any effect on our Earth. Not Elenin. It's too small, in my opinion, to be causing electromagnetic size things. So, okay, so I, in my opinion, the research that includes Elenin isn't validated because they haven't coordinated the size of Elenin and the other things they need to actually make it work. If you took Elenin out of the guy's seismicity uh, 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 research, you might have the same result anyways. It just happens that he did the research and Elenin's name is in there. But he doesn't really go into size or the or what the mass is, so that, really, that research really can't be proven, that, in my mind. So we know where this object is, we haven't seen this object. Okay, so now that we know that Elenin is not any of these things, where are these things or where, where could they be? Okay, I was given our coordinates last night. And I'll tell you right away that the coordinates that I was giving last night point out the spot that Elenin was three nights ago. Three nights ago. Okay, the coordinates I got, the, the outside coordinates that I got, that I checked out, were coordinates for Elenin three nights ago at time 0000 UTC. UTC, I can't really explain it, but everywhere around the world you have a plus or minus UTC. So plus or minus, wherever your time is, wherever you are, UTC time equals UTC. But the coordinates I was given last night to check, which equaled out to three nights ago where Elenin was, and when we're taken at 00.00 UTC. I'm saying that because maybe I'll find out more information what that means. But what it told me was that we're already imaging this space. We've already imaged this space, but we imaged it three nights ago. Okay, every night, every night, every night, Alanin travels a certain amount of distance in a picture. Okay, if I see Ellen in here one night, okay, I'm going to take my next picture the next night, and it could be here. Now, it's on another picture, but in reality, it's still in the same space that I have. Okay, I take a picture one night, there's Ellen in. I take a picture the next night, Ellen in's moved to a different part of space, but that space on this picture is the same space on this picture, and this is how we can take another night and they kind of overlap and it moves from here onto the third image. Okay. Elenin moves about in my images about three inches a night. So three nights is about nine inches. I have to check all the images that I have, and I need to go back and look, the images that I've already taken are going to be of the space that everyone else is looking for. Those outside coordinates are going to be viewed in the images I took of Elenin three nights ahead. So, anyways, uh, we're going to be looking at those pictures. What's important to note is that the alternate coordinates point to the exact spot that Elenin was three days later. Three days later. Are y'all tired of hearing about Elenin? How about P45 Honda? I'm going to stop here, and we'll make a P45 Honda video after I see how this one turned out.